things I really like to do with um, boxes that I get in Sample Society, by the way, should be arriving. I think it's said that it would be delivered on Monday, which is only three days away. Um, but one of the things I like to do is review the items that came in the box. Um, this one is going to be a combination review um, for the products that I got in the May box. Now, as you'll recall, it came with this welcome because this was my first of, I think it's going to be four boxes now, um, one of my first boxes, and it came with these products. I don't know if you can see, there's an eyeliner pencil, there's the Hello Hello Cologne, there's the Kime Shampoo and Kula Lotion. Um, once I do this review today, I'll be able to take the, everything out of the box and um, finish using it. Like, I just finished using up this uh, from my sample side box. Finished using that today. So anyway, there were five items in this box. One thing I'm really happy about with the June 2014 box, and you just watch the review for that hopefully, is that there was no food in that. This one had a um, food bar in it. It was a kind snack, healthy granola bar. Tasted like a bucket of bird seed. Just throw a bunch of bird seed in your face, it has the same effect. Um, it was, they were pretty awful, and it was built to be maple flavored, and just, it was just horrible. So, anyway, my favorite thing out of this box now is this eye pencil. Now I had posted a, a short review um, and I mentioned this pencil and I asked for ways to use it. I did get a couple of hints. One was from uh, one person who said to put it into the corner of the eye to brighten up the eye. Being a little bit older I'm not sure that would work um, well for me. But anyway, this is a Cynthia Rowley Silver pencil. Now I just sharpened it. It was very hard to sharpen. That's the only negative now. Um, I did sharpen it. The material is not wood, which is good. I don't think it's wood. It doesn't feel like wood. doesn't look like wood, which is better. If, you know, you have to always be careful when you sharpen these eye pencils that you don't accidentally get a little piece of wood in your eye. So anyway, it was a little bit hard to get it out of the sharpener. It was easy to sharpen, but the and my sharpener has been working fine with all my other pencils, but the material that is surrounding this kind of was made it difficult to get it out of there. So anyway, what I did and what I've been doing is I've been wearing a layer of this on the top with a thinner layer of dark um, eyeliner just under it next to my lashes. Um, I haven't got a lot of comments, but I did have one of my friends at work say that it looked really nice on, um, and so I do have it on today. Hopefully my head is like centered on the camera here, <laughs> but as you can see, I didn't do a perfect job. Today's Saturday, got a lot of chores to do, so, but anyway, I did put a thin layer on top of each eye. I have also put a little bit in the corner bottom on some days, but I didn't today. And I just used a black pencil over that just um, because the silver, it doesn't look like a complete look when it's on. However, this is one of my favorite things now. This glides on super smooth. Um, you can see that it takes hardly any effort at all to get a line of silver on my hand. That's what it's like on the eye, and it does not come off easily. After 30 seconds, it sets, and you can no longer like smear it or anything. And that's, as you can see, is not going anywhere. Um, not until I put a little makeup remover on it. That's a good thing, because when you're at work for eight hours, um, and the kind of job that I have, um, it's by the end of the day, the stuff under your eyes is a little bit smeared and, you know, I ha I'm really trying really hard to not let that happen anymore, but it does happen. So anyway, that is for that item. Fabulous item. Absolutely love it. That came in one of the little birch box <clears throat> cardboard envelopes with this Hello Cologne. Um, and this is by Harvey Prince and it really is called Hello. Um, and I did put it on today. Sometimes you have to let the cologne sit a little bit 
um, in order for it, the real scent to actually come out. And this has a beautifully light floral scent. Now this was full to the brim, so you can see that I have used this several times already, this little spray bottle. And I really like this. Um, it's entirely possible that I might that I might purchase this. I'm not positive though. It's got kind of a little bit of a grassy smell. I'm not sure how I feel entirely about it. I have to think about this one a little bit more. Um, <clears throat> so those two items were in a little cardboard birch box envelope thing. Um, separate from that was this Kimes shampoo. Now I used it today. Um, I don't notice a huge difference in my hair. But of course, I didn't have the conditioner to go with it. I had to use my own conditioner. Um, so I don't really notice a whole big difference. The only true difference that I felt was that this was not a real foamy shampoo. So I kept thinking, oh, I'm not using enough of that. So I put more on and more on. And finally, I realized this stuff is not really bubbly. And so therefore, I shouldn't be feeling a whole bunch of bubbles. Um, I am told that this is cruelty free and I'm very happy about that, but I'm not sure that it's much different. You can see my hair is still a little bit damp. The curls are starting to dry a little bit and I'm going to actually be talking about that in another video. Um, but <clears throat> not sure how I feel about this shampoo. I've used it, you know, twice now. And I'm not positive whether I really like it or not. So I have to think about it. And I'll probably use it more often until I use it and it's all gone. Maybe I'll take it to Florida with me. And the other thing, actually I will take this to Florida with me, um, is this Kula. This is like an after sun. Kula Environmental Repair Plus Radical Recovery Anti After Sun Lotion. The full size is $32. I do have to say... The difference between the products that I'm getting in Birchbox is that the full-size items, now I'm sure they have some really expensive stuff, but the full-size items seem to be a little bit more affordable than the stuff I'm getting on Sample Society where a full-size item could cost you a hundred bucks and I'm not spending that. <clears throat> so anyway, this is that Kula lotion. It's This is a very tiny sample, as you can see. Um, this is only up to here full. Um, this I think I'll be able to wear one time. So other than telling you that this is a small sample, I'm not sure what else I can tell you. I'll put a little bit on my hand. Oh, that's pretty neat. There's that much. And that's like, you can see it's pretty thick. Um, so you could probably cover more area with just a little bit. Now that covered my entire hand. It smells kind of like natural grassy kind of, kind of smell. I'm not sure how I'd feel about that all over my body because it's a little bit strong um, scent. It is very smooth and nice. It did blend right in. Didn't leave my hand greasy, but it has a very strong scent to it. And I'm not sure I like that scent. It's not not a gross smell. It's just a grassy. It smells kind of like that overly strong juice beauty stuff that I tried. Um, so. <clears throat> that's probably not going to be a winner. So I have to wait and see how that smells over time. But anyway, so that's the end of the May 2014 box. And now I will be disassembling this and taking all my products and putting them where I keep the stuff I use. So anyway, um, the Kula, I think I'll put right into my travel bag because I am starting to get ready. I'm going to Florida um, at the end of the month for the end of the month beginning of July so it's going to be a nice trip going to see mom so anyway thank you for watching 
I hope this hasn't been too dull. But anyway, thank you for watching and have a beautiful day. Bye.